Hello beautiful Virgos. Welcome everyone. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. We're going to jump into this beautiful reading and we're going to um, clarify the cards right now. We're looking at the overall energy as being the seven of cups in your love life. This is a four part reading. Timestamps are below. So let's see. The seven of cups energy. What is the seven of cups doing here? That is keeping your options open. It is the energy of Scorpio. It's knowing that only one right selection can be made. One right choice among seven. So we see the King of Swords energy. So you're trying to stay very, very logical, Virgo. You're trying to stay in this energy of just head over heart, look at the facts, make the right choice. You're very, you find it very, it's a compelling time in your life, though, when you have, you're starting to fantasize about what you would like instead of what you have been doing. So we see the innocence of pentacles. You would like to make a small offer to someone. In the recent past, you and your person of interest have been enjoying a lot of balance, a lot of commitment to one another. Justice card is the seventh house of all relationships that are committed in some way. They have some responsibility attached to the commitment. You feel very lucky to be the, with the person that you love. You feel as though they're very kind, they're loving. It's Jupiter, happy, joyful energy. You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You may be signing some documents or buying property. We have the Ten of Wands. You and someone that... Um, you know, the person that you're interested in are balancing things out and really giving up the burdens, any burdens that have been a part of this relationship. Look at this justice card again. So now whenever I get the justice card with that kind of energy, I feel as though someone may be thinking about getting married, uh, marriage license, or possibly getting divorced. Because we see the, the card, the justice card is always about um, legal paperwork oftentimes the initiation thereof so it does look like you are looking at a lot of activity right now in your life with your loved one about what you're going to do in terms of commitments to one another um, we see the four of swords energy is clarified by the nine of swords you've been all up in your head both of you have been all up in your head about your relationship you know you kind of are feeling right now like you just don't know quite where things stand or where they're going your person and you are feeling very much committed to each other you know the hierophant card you have the same belief systems the heart of swords interesting because we have the king of swords here so the heart of swords is a queen of swords energy so during this healing process you're staying very very in touch with the reality of what's been going on i do think that this relationship is old enough to uh, have some difficulties and and some challenges in it but what relationship doesn't so it does look like right now you and your re your partner are trying to be very logical, very grounded, very stable. Your person absolutely wants a new beginning with you. The way they view the situation is they're not talking much, they're not speaking their truth much, but your person wants, they're in it to win it. They want to nurture the relationship. They really love you and they're trying to be very discreet. I can't believe every relationship reading, the past four that I've done, have the twin flame card. This is a naked tarot and it is a deck that's one of a kind. And, you know, I don't have a sister deck to it. But what we get is 22, 11, 11. This is that your person sees you as their twin flame. There is no other for them as far as they're concerned in relationship. The Aquarius energy says that they're trying to take a very enlightened approach to do their part in making the relationship healthy. They view you as a person who is online a lot. They view you as a person who's a bit mysterious. When they think of you, they think of you as magical Virgo. They think of you as someone who has all the tools to manifest whatever they want. Again, they think that you might be someone who's spending way too much time online. They're very fearful that you are on dating sites or that there's some sort of competition in this relationship for your heart. They feel very invested. They want to nurture. They do feel that you are a very nurturing, sweet, kind person. The Earth Mother Energy, Taurus Energy, 
they feel as though you're stable. In their heart space, they absolutely find you to be their happiness. The spirit of wands is a king of wands energy, Leo energy. Look at that double Leo energy. Your person's very proud. They're very fiery. They want what they want, and they intend to win a victory with you. The devil card is toxicity, as you can see. We have a beautiful, handsome devil. Very tempting. A lot of obsessive energy that your person has towards you, but they also have a desire to control. When we see this devil card, we see this uh, puppet that the devil is manipulating, and it's with this energy of the spirit of cups. So the way they manipulate you or they try to get what they want from you is to be very loving, very calm. They're trying to maintain their cool right now. Um, they're they're pretty, pretty low key in terms of how they're expressing love to you, but they do have an agenda with you. The lover's card, oh, soulmates, this has been coming out and I triple shuffle all the decks before we start, but look at that energy soulmate twin flame third reading in a row that i've gotten this energy so it's the force is strong today both of you are in this energy that's hidden of really loving the passion and excitement that's private in your life tell us about this knight of wands we see the four of wands twin flame energy marriage energy that's a bride and groom dancing under the garland at their wedding it's a commitment card. So what you really want, so if you are in a marriage, it looks like it's still very hot and spicy. If you are just having a fling, both of you are thinking about what it would like. Would that fire remain alive if the two of you were in a committed relationship? Look at this, three of cups, best friends, joyful, very much. It's like bridesmaids at a party. And given the fact that the four of wands is a wedding party, when we get the three of cups, that is a powerful indicator you may be headed towards commitment. Five of swords says that there's something very thorny in this relationship. The moon card says that that thorny item is hidden or unspoken. Oh, wow, we have... Now we have the Earth Mother and the Sky Father. So that's the Emperor and the Empress. So your divine partners that may not be married to each other. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, this will be a secret relationship with a divine partner or a significant other. With the Justice card, there's at least a few of you here that are probably in a marriage with this person or your person is married. I'm not seeing the classic indicators of third party though, so I'm happy about that. Five of Wands, Spirit says that you should be feisty and fight for what you want and insist on what you want. And it clarifies that if you fight for it, you get it, that your ship has arrived in the harbor. It does require somebody here in this relationship, one of you, to leave something behind, to leave a competitor behind, to, and it may be as simple as healing a divorce. It could be as simple as, you know, somebody healing after leaving uh, a relationship behind to come into partnership or, you know, into alignment with this beautiful twin frame flame. Uh, relationship. We have Taurus here as your outcome. It's the daddy card. It's the nurturing, passionate father, quote unquote, who is committed to creating stability, abundance, wealth, maturity, loyalty. It's beautiful. Let's see. We have the death card. So to have this relationship, there has to be a profound change. We see that there has to be a death and rebirth and we see the transformation that you're building to have this soulmate, to have this lover's card, to have this uh, twin flame card, and a new beginning, you're going to have to end something, or your other person, your person is going to have to end something. Innocence of Swords says that you may keep in contact a lot via social media or some other way. We do see Seven of Pentacles, the two of you are not living together currently, or so it seems. It looks like the two of you fantasize about it and the movement of cups. There is a tremendous love that is brewing here, and both of you are upgrading and moving into a more romantic phase in which you're going to have to make decisions. So let's look and see what your best course of action is. At this time, what is spirit calling on you for your action? 
Let's see what we have here for our beautiful Virgo friends. Virgo, what spirit recommending to you? Okay, I want this one. Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. All right, so it's not an easy choice for you. There's a lot that's true. This is not going to make this decision easy in that Seven of Cups energy. A lot of water, a lot of emotion here. Sandpiper spirit, be playful through the process of doing this. Don't get too burdened by this. Some of this is going to happen whether you plan it or not. I get that. And we also get clear out the clutter. What I would say about the devil energy, though, Virgo, is it does look like you have someone in your life who wants to control. And that is uh, toxic energy. So what we have here for the sacred destiny, best course of action advice for you is the energy of grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. Stay grounded. Okay. What else in the sacred destiny do you need to know to help make the situation better? First light, beginning a new cycle. I love the fact, Virgo, that you're, you seem to be very calm, cool, and collected through this process. We are going to look at the help and hindrances that may be coming through energetically at this time in this situation. What are the help, the help and the hindrances may be? For a heads up, sacred reverence, well, that speaks to this beautiful twin flame. That spirit is saying, whether you like it or not, you have to be somewhat beholden to a twin flame, willing to release that which does not suit you, being willing to walk away from perhaps a situation in which you've been married or you've been with somebody a long time, and there's a lot of low-level arguing constantly. Virgo, you deserve to be happy, right? You're not very argumentative for the most part. Beyond the ordinary, beautiful. So Spirit is saying that this relationship is beyond the ordinary and that you really, um, you know, go with the flow. Enjoy the moment. So let's see what your person likes best about you. Let's see what we have. That card flipped over in my hand. The Page of Swords. They like your sense of humor. They like the way you communicate via text. They like your presence online. Your person loves the fact that you're always learning things and you love the truth. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. So we have Gemini and Leo Energy. Your person sees you as their infinity. The so I always think Twin Flame with 1111 and the Strength card with the Infinity symbol are sort of seal the deal. That's my opinion as a reader. That Strength card means you have the courage and the strength to go through whatever you need to to transform your life and to get what you want. And that's how your person sees you, Virgo, the Queen of Pentacles, that you are very nurturing, you're very loving, you do have a very kind energy, but it's Capricorn energy, you're all about business, you're all about taking care of business, and they have deep respect for that. The Seven of Coins, that you are invested in them, your person sees you as someone who works hard, and you have a spiritual bent to your nature and your work. They see you as a king of wands. Lots of Leo energy here. Spirit of wands, king of wands twice. The sun card. The sun card. Okay, so look at this. We have the king of wands here. We have the sun card. Look at what we have right underneath. The sun card and the king of wands energy. So in your person's heart space, you know, they just... They absolutely think that you are their happy place at being with you. It's like the, a day at the beach. They love your strength. They love your fire, your passion. You may have Virgo. I mean, you may have a Leo in your chart as a cusper. So the Six of Cups, they love the fact that you're sweet, that you're kind. They love being with you. They love spending time with you. It's very reminiscent of childhood happiness. We see the Knight of Cups. Again, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. They see you. They love that you're romantic. They love that you're a cuddly person. They love that you're sensitive emotionally. The Five of Swords, they also like the fact that you can really get out there when you need to. When Spirit calls on you to fight for the relationship, that is something that they really adore about you. Cindy, you love from Chicago? Send some back. Tell me what you think. Tell me where you're from. Tell me if you found this helpful. Thanks so much. Hoping to see you in another video. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Bye-bye, Virgo.